What's up everybody? I'm Morgan Crosby. Welcome to Cars and Crosby. I've got an awesome episode for you today. I've got Fishman. He's here with me right now unloading a convertible off of the truck. Uh, we've got another truck over here unloading pickup trucks. Interesting thing, I know that we don't always talk about um, pickup trucks on my show, but check out this color on this silver auto. I'm trying to figure out if this is maybe a fleet vehicle just because of the rims on it. I've never seen this kind of green on a uh, on a silver auto before and maybe it's a new color maybe I got to do more of my uh, research and, and and getting to know the product let's just figure out what the name of this is I've never even seen something like this this is called woodland green and it looks to me like this is a retail unit interesting I didn't know that we made a color like that well kind of matches the carrier that it came on <laughs> over here Fishman is uh, getting our Corvette off of the uh, truck he's got a, um, a blue a blue uh, Corvette in Elkhart Lake with the Trident spoke rims on it. It's a convertible as well. On his truck, let's just take a quick look. I know that it's uh, a little loud because of the road that we uh, we work on, but let's just take a quick look at their inventory and see what they've got. Got some Trident spokes on the top that are in the polished finish. C51, red calipers and bright red. A lot, of, a, lot, a lot more bright red calipers. At the beginning, I was seeing a lot of edge reds. Haven't seen a lot of edge reds lately. I'm hoping that maybe people are picking up on that, that it's not matching as much as it would with the other calipers. Seeing a lot of the black rims from the factory where they have the machine face on them. These are all Z51 so far. I haven't seen a non-Z51. Again, the easiest way to check to see is just to look at the calipers, which is a little bit more convenient. It sucks that we don't have a vented uh, caliper where we had the slots on it like on the previous gens. That was usually the way that I could tell if it was a Z51 or not. You know, you look at the body style, see if it's a wide body, and then you look down and you see if there's rotors that have striations on it. Fishman, how you been, man? I haven't seen you in a dog's age. It's been a while. Hey, how is the plant right now? How full is it? Uh, actually, it's shut down. I heard that. Yeah. Fishman, he might be bringing some bad news to some of you folks that haven't seen the channel. It's a terrible thing, but we got to keep up with some man, and the, and the supply chains are just not able to keep up. Fishman, you got a nice hat on that. Is that a C7R hat? Yeah, I think it yeah yeah i remember that that's very cool man yeah. so how many how many cars are in the plant right now that are being loaded up uh, maybe 200 okay so there's still some there there's still yeah. some loads for you to do it yeah. the good news is is that they are planning on ramping back up so hopefully you guys will maybe just catch up with how many uh corvettes that you have down there that's well that's amazing well i'm gonna give you a little chicken wing thank you so much for yeah. bringing that up fish man i really appreciate it so uh, I got my new mask on, by the way, guys. I got these uh, done at like a uh, place in the mall. You just put the Corvette logo on it. If you guys are looking for some cool Corvette masks, um, I have a couple links to some places if you're looking for them. I, I want to stay safe, but I also want to make sure that people know I love Corvettes. So this is the best way I thought I could do it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to unwrap the Corvette now and go through the features that are on this specific model. Okay, so Elkhart Lake Blue, we see you again. And guess what we've got on this one? We've got a two-tone sky cool gray interior. I've been very excited to see this as we broke up the sky cool gray interior with a nice two-tone finish. You'll see in the centers of the seats there, it's got the black. And then like with all the two-tone accents on the top of the dash, you'll see that there are nice accents on it as well. So very excited to start unwrapping this. It's wet, so we're gonna do this inside just to make sure that we can keep this girl nice and dry before our new owners see it. Very exciting vehicle. I'm excited to see what this two-tone finish will look like. And we're going to be doing some cool stuff to the rims on this one as well. Okay, so we've got this one unwrapped. Brad is just inspecting it with Fishman, making sure that everything's okay with it. You see, we got another load of trucks just now that came in. We are uh, trying to keep as much of this inventory as we can, but uh, the demand is amazing right now for pickup trucks. If you're looking for trucks in particular, holy cow, we can't keep up. Now, on this specific model, we've gone with Elkhart Lake and then Carbon Flash Metallic is the secondary color. But check this out. This is my first look at the two-tone with the Sky Cool Gray, and it did exactly what I was hoping for. It gives it that amazing pop. We already knew from the other uh, Elkhart Lake that the Sky Cool Gray goes very cool with the interior. But this one, we put the black inserts in here just to make sure that, you know, if you are having some jeans and stuff on, you can kind of keep it a little bit cleaner by having a two-tone interior. But at the same time, you get that beautiful pop on the dash with the Sky Cool Gray. What an amazing one. Now, Fishman, I gotta ask, what's your favorite color? Have you seen all the Corvettes over the years? Which one do you think looks best? I don't know, brother. I've gotta say that I saw a, a, a blue with 
blue and black two-tone yeah, yeah. interior. But it that was rapid blue, one. eh? Or this one? Uh, it was a rapid blue. Yeah, that uh, one is like is it, I just feel like it looks like a Lamborghini. It just looks so crazy. It's got that, it's got that pop. I'm always looking to see how these things will last over the long time. You know, is this thing going to be a color that's going to last for 10, 20 years? And some of these colors, they just look so iconic. I love it. So Fishman's a busy guy. He's got to go to other places in Canada. We want to get him out of here. Brad's going to finish inspecting this Corvette. We're going to get it inside so the owner can see it. And then I'm going to show you what um, awesome features we have going on this vehicle where it's a little drier. We got one of our torch reds that we delivered earlier this year back in the shop. It's got 7,600 kilometers on her getting ready for her first oil change. Love that torch red. And then over here, we've got the Elkhart Lake Corvette that just arrived in. All right, I'm just about to go back in the shop. It's a little loud in there, so I wanted to give you the good news outside. I'm in front of one of the C7 Z06s we're about to deliver. Uh, without further ado, the plan is back in action. We are back, baby. We are going full steam ahead. We've given the suppliers enough of a leeway to allow us our two shift strategy where we're building around 800 to 850 of these a week. We will be extending the production into the December uh, month. And if I was to give you a guess, I would say we'll probably go all the way to Christmas break. Now, keep in mind, if you are in the waiting for a 2020, um, this is awesome news. It means that you are still going to be getting a 2020 model year. There will be some changes. There may even be some changes to price. So keep in mind that that's awesome that you're securing that. Now, if you have a 2021, have no fear. This is a vehicle that is very highly uh, sought after. There's a huge waiting list for it. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. The fact that you're still on the list and you're getting one very shortly is amazing because we have tons of people that are lined up for 2022s and we're even starting to take deposits for the anniversary editions in 2023. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be the platinum year. I'm excited to see what kind of combinations, decals, and also just additions that they're going to be doing uh, for that 75th anniversary. So, uh, sorry, 70th anniversary. It's the platinum year. I looked it up. So uh, I don't know if they're going to do a platinum paint because they just came out with the silver flare, um, but I'm sure that they'll be doing some amazing badging. If you guys think back to the 25th, 25th anniversary, uh, they did a really cool 25th anniversary logo that I, I quite like on those stingrays. So uh, we're going to go inside now. I'm just going to mask up to make sure that we're all safe. And I'm going to show you what we have on the lift here. Okay, so here we go. She's already on the hoist. Todd's already working on her. We do have the rocker panels that are going to be going on this one as well. So Todd's just getting the templates for that set up. We have these rims that are going to be going to get powder coated. And then we are also going to be doing a one inch drop on the suspension on this one. So right over here, you can see the knuckles uh, for where they're going to lower the suspension. So a lot of nice things going on this specific model. It's going to look a lot more appropriate once we have the black powder coated rims on it and with also the black accents for the rocker panels. There is a high wing spoiler going on this as well. So um, it'll look really good. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll shoot another video once all the stuff is done on this vehicle. Stay tuned for more awesome content and happy motoring.